Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a rear window regulator on this 2004 Chrysler Sebring. It's the same part and process on the Dodge Stratuses and the Chrysler Sebrings from 2001 to 2006. And the items you'll need for this is a new rear window regulator from 1AAuto.com, a Phillips screwdriver, a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, and a flat blade screwdriver. Start off, you want to use your flat blade screwdriver and just pry up these two little trap doors here. Now you'll see there's one Phillips screw in there, and there's one in there, and if you come down here, there's two more. And we'll just fast forward as Don removes those four Phillips screws. Now you want to just pry out on the panel to release the clips. You want to do this on the other side. And then your door panel will just lift up and off. Back side of the door panel, you'll see this little clip here door handle rod, you just want to pry this off with your flat blade screwdriver. And then you want to just push the tab on this harness and disconnect it, and your door panel's free. You want to just carefully remove your water shield here. Use a razor blade to just separate the adhesive from the shield. And you want to do this carefully. We're just going to fast forward through this process. This car has a cable style regulator, so most likely what happened is you were using the window and you heard a popping noise and then some grinding and you can hear the window uh, the window motor trying to work but the window doesn't go up and down. Uh, in that case you can usually grab hold of the window and just slide it up and down and what you want to do is try and get it into the full up position and then you can go right through these two holes here to get to the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the regulator or hold the window to the regulator and remove those bolts. Now you want to tape your window into place. And these three 10 millimeter bolts right here, you want to go ahead and just remove each of these. There's three 10 millimeter nuts down here. Again, just remove those. Now you can just pull your window regulator slightly out of the door. And you can see this harness here, pushing the red tab, pushing the tab at the top there and just disconnect the harness. And then you can pull it up a little bit more, but you'll see that this wire harness is actually clipped on right here. Just want to disconnect that. And then your window regulator will pull right out of the door. Old window regulator in the front, new one from 1A Auto in the back. You can see they're identical, same mounting points, same connectors. And you just want to plug in your new window regulator and feed it into the door. start off by just lining up the studs on your window regulator motor. Push that into place and then we're going to fast forward as Don just replaces those three 10 millimeter nuts just by hand for now. And then you want to line up the top part of the window regulator and just replace those three 10 millimeter bolts. And again we're just going to fast forward as Don does this. And then once you've got all of them in by hand, you can go around and tighten them up with the socket and ratchet. And you're going to want to do the same thing to the nuts on the window motor. And you can 
remove the tape from your window and lower it down into the regulator. You can see the hole on the regulator right there is what you want to line up with the hole on the window. And you can access the other bolt through that square hole to the right. And you want to go ahead and just replace those two 10 millimeter bolts. Now you want to replace your water shield. You want to just make sure you pull the harness through the door handle cable and the door lock knob and then just push it into place on the adhesive. Now to reinstall your door panel, you just want to push that harness back into place. And then take your door handle rod and put the clip back onto it. And then you just want to wind your door panel up over the lock and hit the clips in around the edges. And then we're going to fast forward as Don replaces those four Phillips screws and closes the two trap doors. And you're all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.